So I guess your involvement with the British Championship, given your expertise and, and involvement in all the other championships really, was logical that it was almost that British was the last to conquer. Yeah, in, in, in many respects, it was frustrating for us. Um, we'd like to have done something with the British Championship at an earlier stage. Um, but, it, but it now beautifully aligns with what we're doing with the FIA World Rallycross Championship, um, what we're doing with all of the European National Rallycross Championships and Nordic Championships, and it's a really good way of getting the supercars and, and the other main classes aligned, so they're all on a very similar product, and if any of those cars wishes to run in any of the other championships, they'll be able to do so without having to re-engineer the vehicles. Uh, and I think that's quite an important point. Okay. Now, in, in a lot of other motorsport in certain forms, there's an awful lot of talk about tyres. For Rallycross, are they just black and round and there's three choices? Well, the, well they could be. Uh, as with any exclusive supply contract, you could provide something that's roughly the right size and say, well, you're all on the same thing. <laughs> right. um, what's happened with, with Cooper and, and the factory at Melksham in the UK is they've produced championship winning products that won 19 consecutive European championships when it was an open tyre supply. Uh, only at that point did we reproach people to try to go in with exclusivity of supply to the main areas and we used exactly the same product that we had won the European Open Championship with. So in many respects you don't give up a thing, you actually get the most competitive product. Now, for, for certain classes, the price point of that is, is, is acceptable and, 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 and that's not a main, major issue. For some of the other classes where we're encouraging people to come into the sport, we, we knew we needed to have a, a different range of product that came in at a more acceptable price for people who right. are privately funding. So we've created that as well in order to, to better supply the, the entire championship because we want people to be coming in at grassroots level and then progressing into those more expensive classes. You also seem to have come into this championship at quite an exciting time. It's a, it, the championship's evolving, it's changing slightly. Probably, I think, the plans that are in place for the better. I think it's going to be a difficult task to introduce slightly stricter regulatory frameworks and to persuade people to lift the level to, to a certain level of professionalism. But when you look at the other national championships, like the French, where they've done this over a period of years, what you end up with is a really vibrant championship with people where people are confident that they know what they're going to get. There's going to be a stability there, and I think this will encourage people to, to commit to it. Um, and, and we as a company are completely committed to Rallycross, and we've been in it for, for as I say, over 30 years, um, one way or another. Um, and we will be in this for as long as it takes to, to make it what it should be because the British Championship, my history in it goes back 30 years to a very young Pat Duran and Will Gollop. Um, it, it really is in our DNA. We're, we're, we're completely um, sold on Rallycross. I think, I think the concept of the sport gives you short, sharp bursts of, of activity and action. Um, and, and this is what this is what televises quite well. It's the content that you can use um, w without having to commit a day or two days to a to a to a, a long match or, or an endurance race. Um, Rallycross is given us the content that we need, and it and it's a perfect support as well for our core activity of selling SUV and 4x4 tyres with the Cooper brand, right. uh, and it aligns perfectly with that. Okay. And You've been involved with it then for 30 odd years, you've known it, known the sport, etc. How excited are you then about this coming season? I think it's a mix of excitement and trepidation. Um, it, it's going to be a very difficult thing to manage with all of the added complexities surrounding the, surrounding the COVID uh, virus. But I genuinely think that there is a massive opportunity here to, to grow British Rallycross. And, and in that respect, it, it, it's one of the most exciting areas that we're going to be involved in as a company trying to support that. Um, because we've seen how, how far we can grow a national championship with some of our other supplies in, yeah, sure. in other European countries and, and the Nordic region. And, and it really is vibrant and, and, it, and it's, a, it's a great family weekend out.
Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you.